Hey church family, I hope this video finds you well, staying safe at home and leaning into the grace of God during this holy week. Please know that the leaders and pastors of Mission City Church are praying for you every day and we're here to talk, to pray, or if you have anything that you need, we'd love to be a part of, of helping you during this time. If you're like me, man, this crisis has just turned your life upside down. And as we're navigating it together, maybe you find yourself praying and on your knees talking to God a little more than you used to before. I wanted to share a story with you from Mark 14. This is Jesus on the night that he's betrayed, which is fitting for this week. And it's a story where we find Jesus praying in a moment of great distress. Let's start in verse 32 of Mark 14. It says, and they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, this is Jesus talking, sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Does that sound familiar? Jesus said, remain here and watch. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and he prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. If your conversations and prayers during this time have involved the question, where is God? If that's something that you've been, been asking and wrestling with, let this story remind you today that our God is not far. He is not a God who's removed from human pain, from, from suffering, from trouble, the kind that you and I are so familiar with right now. Now, the Jesus I love, he's right in the middle of all that. And he's not just in the middle of it, he is experiencing it. He says to the disciples that he's, he's distressed, he's very sorrowful. He's feeling this, and what does he do? As we look to Jesus during Holy Week, what does he do when he's in a moment that we can relate to? He gets on his knees. Actually, he gets on the ground and spreads himself out and he prays. Guys, um, what would it look like for us to be a church that believes and prays like Jesus does in moments like this? Not what I will, Father, but what you will. See, Jesus, even when death was knocking on his door, he had hope and trust in God the Father, that he was good, that he, that he could raise him from the dead, that in the worst circumstances, there could be life on the other side. And that is our hope today. Let's be a church that prays this prayer in faith, trusting God, trusting that the resurrection that we're about to celebrate at the end of this week, that that kind of hope defines us even in a season like this. Let's pray. God, we want to trust you more than we do. Help us, God, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us be a people like Jesus who can say, you are a good father. God, and we know that you have the ability to bring life from death and light out of darkness. I pray that you would do that and work during this time in all of our lives as we trust you and take one step forward today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.